what is up you guys welcome back to a new episode of fresh and roughly another episode banged out and i'm telling you it's gonna be a good one so i got a mixture of vintage items and newer items it's gonna be an all-around good time but before we get into it i got a reminder right out there if you guys are enjoying the videos and you don't want to make more please do hit that like button it really does help me a lot as well as that piece of the subscribe button if you're not already also hit the notification bell if you want to see when i upload immediately onto it so yes, we are here. I'm actually walking all the way to the thrift store. This is what happens when you show up late. I mean, that's uh, my fault on my part, but uh, yes, what we got with the uh, 1996 Bob Marley tee, single stitch. Uh, I'll probably show you guys the back because I'm walking right now, but. Uh, and also with that, we got the uh, 90s green brim Stussy cap. I don't want to get hit over here, but we are here now. Let's get in. doing it until you get the pro sports okay not polo sport but pro sports hey man i just gotta say that's a sick that's an awesome shirt that really is an awesome i love that that was an og right there man he had the tap faces and everything he had the, that was crazy man um he has the craziest kobe bryant shirt on though number eight doing his dunk um but i gotta talk to you guys about this i went through all the shoes and check it out. I came up on some New Balance made in USA 990s. They're size 11 and a half. They're a little bit worn, but they are $7.99. I believe there's a sale going on right now, 25%, maybe 35, I don't know. It's getting crazy in here. There's like so many people. But um, there we go, first scoop. We got the Made in USA New Balance. Let's do it. Check it out, check it out, okay. I don't know if I have to remind you guys, but one of the early episodes, when the hype, okay, the hype of the Guest Jeans uh, USA t-shirts, the striped ones, were like at the pinnacle moment, I find a pink one, and it did sell off at round two for 150 smackers. Check out this one. I haven't came up one in a while. It's a knit. It is made in Thailand. It is a, I believe, a white 2K, probably a millennium Guest Jeans, maybe early 99. But that is pretty cool. It's probably going to be a scoop. We've got a little stainage here. It is $12.99 though, but uh, I just can't let it go. Definitely a full cool piece. So sadly, I didn't find too much in these shoes, but I did find a uh, Remington with that uh, shotgun shell right there with a primer uh, wallet, $1.99, and this bootleg Louis Vuitton pouchette. Uh, let's just go over why it's bootleg for a second. Um, this is wrong. Uh, placement is wrong. Should have been on the actual zipper pull itself. Uh, zipper pull should have had a leather pull on it. Uh, the holes are not big enough here. Colors off. Made in Italy. Louis Vuitton logo is gone. And the serial number is gone. Just wrong color and the feel of it. Look at that. Look what just happened, too. Look at the build material just fell off. That is so sad. Goodbye. I still remember you, little fella. I still remember. This thing is sick. What year, what year? Is he new or is he vintage? Let me know. Let me know. Oh, man. 1993. Ugh. It's going to be hard not to pick him up. $1.99? And he's got the sunglasses still on? He keeps on going, man. He never quits. There we go. New rack. New put out, oh, did the Air Max 90s, the uh, hologram swoosh. Um, I mean, it does beat paying retail, nine bucks. Look at the dirtiness, but that can be all clean. Not that much wear. All right, I'm back in the t-shirts, but I just gotta talk about this then. Look at the bubble on it, it's super clean. This is just mud, by the way. I know, I was like, it's dirty, but it's nothing, man. You know, a little bit of wear on that uh, suede, but I got a suede dye. And look at that hologram, seriously. I might keep them. I might keep them. I gotta, I gotta shout out the helpful Honda people, man, helping me out. These are some exclusive helpful Honda shoes that would've came to the homies. So there we go, I'm taking off. Um, I picked up what I picked up, nothing extra. But it's crazy, cause okay, that Kobe shirt that the guy had, I did ask him to buy it off him. I put uh, 20 down and he was just like, he had the Kobe, had Brian number eight, it had him dunking. It was so sad because 
he just wouldn't let it go. Plus, he didn't have an extra shirt. I told him I'll buy him one. Oh, I was gonna do it. I was literally gonna do it. I bought things off of people's backs before, but that one was just so sick, man. I'm happy what I got, and I am taking off. Let's go. Boom, right there, we are here. Walking around the streets. Let's see what we find. Let's get in. Okay, starting this off in here, we got the, some Billie Eilish and that's Stussy, but it is not vintage. A little sweat, but uh, geez, look at that, but they're charging. It's insane. Probably gonna leave it. And there we go at the spot. Okay, I went through everything. You guys already know me coming at a spot. You know I was probably gonna pick up and come up on this one. Check out the Loom, the harder tag. I haven't came up with one of these in the wild before, but I've seen it. There it is. And then, check it out. Men like it a lot when when you play with their balls, okay? Sarah Christie, 1988, single stitch tee, pretty good condition, and for $1.99, I'm into it. Oh my gosh. Vintage, vintage at the thrift, man. 1988. It looks so good. Okay, <laughs> again, I can come into a spot and come up. That's insane. That's what I always say. To the victor, go the spoils. Whew. So there, taking off from there, first time ever even coming in the spot. Had to get some iced tea, I am thirsty, but I'm coming up on a nice Tommy Duffel, okay? I use my Tommy Duffel all the time at the swap meet to the point where it's starting to like pull and stuff like that. This one's a lot stronger, this one's attached, this one's insane. So this is probably just gonna go in the stash again, but you know, I just had to do it and uh, onto it, let's go. In the spot, man, I'm freaking out, okay? Do you guys see what this is already? Gosha Rubchinsky, you got the 3M. Okay, first, let's see how much it is too. Ooh, seven bucks for some Gosha. Okay, let's check the, uh, let's go legit check on this. Okay, I wanna see a made in Turkey. If there's a made in Turkey, I'm losing it. <laughs> it's right there. You know, a lot of these people probably were looking at it and going, what does that say? Roa? You gotta know what to look for, and you come up. That's amazing. Let's flash the 3M. Let's flash the 3M for some fun. Boom. I'm flashing that 3M. Oh yeah, that's yummy. Yes, we are back outside and um, I did pick up for 10 bucks. I got to view it and they were getting really weird with the camera, which I was surprised about. Um, but Gucci Parfums, so the perfume, and this is for the 90th anniversary of Gucci. I love the presentation, I love the box, and I didn't mind to pay 10 bucks for an ornament pretty much. But um, it has something on it which I'm kind of kind of alarmed about, you know, what is that? But it does say Gucci on it. But it has this, so I don't know what that is right here. Yes, I'm wearing that Slipknot shirt. I don't know if you guys can see it, I'll be showing it. But, wow. These go for around like 50 bucks. So it's a nice little cop. Gucci for Gucci's sake, right? Oh yeah, onto it. So like I said, I would have showed you guys the Slipknot shirt I am wearing. It's a front and back, but wow. Okay, coming up at the spot. $1.99, it's a Made in USA polo. Check it out, the K-Swiss Shield. First time coming up on the K-Swiss Shield in the wild, let alone in some shorts that are just crazy color block, orange, green, and everything in between. That is just, oh gosh. It's one of those days at the thrift, man, one of those days. Oh yes, coming to the spot again, and check it out, we got Bill Elliott. 
signature. He signed that number nine when he was number nine before the 23. And check it out, you know, NASCAR for the win. This is some vintage stuff right here. It's on a Speedway tag. And then check this piece out, single stitch. You got on a Collegiate Pacific. This is going back to my dad's high school right here. Back when he graduated in 77, this is junior year. Bicentennial, this was the uh, Bicentennial. That's just so crazy, man. I'm just gonna pick it up just because, and I believe it's like a dollar or something like that. And you got the uh, Gucci dust bag, which I have sandals, but I don't have the dust bag, so I'm just gonna scoop it. It is legit, too. That is funny. Just a dust bag, but still. <laughs> Gotta love Gucci. Yummy. <laughs> So let's get the recap straight off and let's start off with this piece. We got the Tommy jeans duffel bag, just awesome front and back graphic. And then we got the full spell out strap, a nice adjustable piece and a big breath of fresh air considering that was my first time at that spot. Put it up right there and we got the 1988 t-shirt. Again, now turn that around. You got uh, men like it a lot when you play with their balls. So Sarah Christie, what's up 1988? And it is a nice vintage piece. Like I said, I have never found this harder fruit and loom tag. Uh, before dollar 99 and 15 bucks i was into it so for 10 bucks i also did pick up that gucci ornament just an awesome piece again the presentation itself is amazing and even the ornament itself is simplistic but awesome gucci at the thrift so it's getting a, an awesome piece again a dollar 99 such an awesome scoop we got the polo k swiss shield some swim shorts bringing out the new and coming in with the old getting into uh let's get a little details right there i love that to see that look at that embroidery in there it's so awesome made in usa to boot again i love vintage polo a lot of people don't understand it i guess uh i've gotten some comments before but uh flow for the low low definitely we got an ice cream piece here by uh billionaire boys club made in usa size xl you got the graphic right in the front you got graphic right in the back again it's always good coming up on the stuff and check it out 399 walking into the spot i was not gonna pass it up again a definitely clean piece we'll see what we do with it size xl the last but not least and i'm hoping you guys like the recaps because what i'm doing is actually picking just like the hardest hitting pieces and going over it uh if you guys want to see the other pieces go check the video out i'm serious if you guys are just going to the recap uh switch it up so check it out we got the tag right there we got the uh ghost job rubchinsky size large this is like the third gosha piece i've ever found you got the 3m graphic and look at the comps right there and i did pick it up for 6.99 such a steal let's see what we do with it if it does fit me i'm probably going to keep it but if it doesn't it's going to go up on my depop link down below go check it out i'm just going to say thank you guys for watching it has been a journey going to these surf stores lately and the videos have been banging out i'm serious they've just been banger after banger after banger i am so happy the thrift god's looking out for me and with that i'm just gonna say what do i say Hit that sub button because my videos are coming. This was Mick from Fresh from the Flea.